Hey Cancer Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. Let's pull some cards for you all. Spirit, what does my Cancer Collective need to know right now? Let's see what you get here. Allowing appreciation. Okay. This card says, the value of my life increases each time I appreciate everything in it. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Most magnetic energy on the planet. Okay. Spirit wants you to practice gratitude. Then we have holiday. The spirit of the ocean calls you, offering healing and much needed peace. Come to the water and connect with this endless flow of magic. You need a change of scenery. Take a holiday and all will fall into place. So some of you need to just make time to go on a vacation here. Be by the water. You are a water sign, okay? You need to be near your own element, in your own element. Maybe just go for a swim at your pool if that's all you can do right now, you know? I mean, I told y'all last night when I did y'all reading or the, whatever I did you reading last. I told you you needed a break. You needed to take a vacation, even if it was just a staycation. Spend some time with your loved ones. Coming out again. You have so much to be grateful for, Cancer. And it's the little things. It really is. You know, when we give thanks for the little things, God, God blesses us with bigger things. Okay? The major things. Let's see. We have keys on trees, number 49. I forgot what this card means, y'all. And I, I don't know where the book is. Uh, let me see if I can find it online. Okay, someone could be 49 or that number could be significant for one reason. Oh, another. But let's look this card up because um, I know this deck is online, but it's kind of hard to find. Let's see. Keys on trees. Okay, let's see what we get here. I know that this is online. I don't know why I can't find it now that I'm looking for it. I stumbled upon it one day, but I'm like, now I can't find it. I need to know what it means because it has a specific meaning. I mean, I could use my intuition, but I, I, I want to know what it means. I just do. Okay, what's the name of this deck here? I'm sorry, let me pause y'all. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So from what I could fathom from what I just listened to because I wasn't able to find a guidebook online either now I don't know what I did with the real guidebook or the one online Jesus but anyway so this card it has an elephant here trapped in a cage at the top of a tower okay and although the elephant is in the cage all of the trees around the elephant as well as on the elephant's trunk there is a key right meaning that the, the elephant can set itself free at any time Okay, now I want to go back to what I told you all last night because that makes a lot of sense. The only person that can stop you, can block you, can prevent you from happiness, peace, anything truly is self, right? We all understand that. I do feel like for some of you, I don't know why I feel like you have a lot on your plate. I do not know why I picked that up um, last night and I feel it again today. It just feels to me like you need a respite. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just feels like you need a rest. It just feels like you need to let your hair down. It feels like you need to be able to really relax. It feels like you need to be able to have time to spend with the people that you really love and care about. And, you know, although this elephant is still in the cage, the elephant is the only one that can let itself out of the cage. There's no other people around. There's no other entities around, animals or anything. It's just trees with keys all over the place, meaning that there's options here. Even if he were to drop the key that's hanging there, there are so many other um, keys everywhere else. And they're hanging on a tree so that he can reach them, you know. So I feel like there is something within your reach. There's something in your power here. You know, if you are feeling like you have to spread yourself really, really thin because you are working so much to pay off debt or, you know, just life. Life is tough right now financially for, for everybody. It's tough. You know, not every single person, but for most of the people on the planet, it's not easy right now. Like I said, like last time I did your reading, even a two-income household is really struggling right now because everything is so inflated. 
Y'all, cough syrup costs $40. I went to get cough syrup the other day at CVS. $40. Did y'all hear me? Four zero. I'm like, really? <laughs> what is that? So, I understand. I definitely understand. But I do feel like there is a break that's needed and it's really in your hands. Put your P PTO in. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's just a day, y'all. Just a day. Make some time for yourself. Let's get into what this appreciation is about. The Six of Swords, which is a vacation with the Empress. You pulled the Empress the last time. Taurus, Libra, and Aquarius energy. The Empress needs to just chill and relax. Move to calmer waters. Okay, take some time here to go on a vacation. Maybe a cruise if you can afford it. I feel like you have money. I feel like you are stable. I feel like you are a parent. And you have responsibilities. But I feel like you are meeting the needs of your children, your family. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're doing your job. The Empress is abundant and prosperous. And she's in receptive mode. This tells you to allow appreciation. The value of my life increases each time I appreciate everything in it. I feel like the more calm you are, Six of Swords, the more magnetizes to you. Like you don't have to go looking for the money. May sound easier said than done, but truth be told, the, the Empress is a manifester. This is abundance, prosperity. This is the feeling of sitting in a lap of luxury. Okay. We got the Ten of Wands in reverse. Yep, you're, you're about to start creating better balance in your life with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Some of you are about to start to accept that, you know what, some things are just out of my control and I just have to leave it to fate. Literally, both of these cards mean leave it to fate. And they're both number tens, which means it's time for something to end in a new way to begin. Okay, for some of you, maybe you are dealing with financial upheaval right now because the Wheel of Fortune in reverse can be a string of bad luck. It can be, you know, feeling... Like you are very misfortunate, unfortunate, whatever, right? But the thing is, this is where you get to the point where you're like, you know what? What can I do about it? Me not living my life, me not spending time with my friends and family and, and you know, enjoying life just because a bill came up or just because whatever happened that I didn't foresee coming, that ain't going to make it be any better. That's not going to change the situation. What's this holiday? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you all work, no play. Four of Swords, that's a vacation. Some of you are so hardworking. You're diligent. You're committed. You're meticulous. You're methodical. You're the kind of people who like to finish what you start. And you could definitely be an overthinker here. You might be a perfectionist, you know, workaholic for sure. And this is telling you time to put that away and, and take a break. You can't make it up. Virgo and Libra energy. Let's see what this keys on trees is. Let's keys on trees. Y'all, you got the tower coming out again. Well, this time it's in reverse, but this is the tower too. The tower in reverse is when you're not learning a lesson. The two of cups. I told you, it's like you have a lover or something. Yeah, the six of cups. I, and then the three of pentacles here. Some of you, it's a hard, it's the hard thing trying to balance work and home. We got Cap Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer, Taurus. Why did I say Taurus? And Aries showing up here. What is this? I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, so I do see some of you um, making time for your loved ones. This couple looks like they're on a picnic. This man is fishing with his son. And it's like work is going to have to wait. Because it's getting to a point where it, it's like you can't have it both ways. You can't be in two places at one time. Knight of Pentacles going into the Four of Swords means somebody's really working hard and they need a break. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's time to take a break because this is one of the hardest working cards in the tarot. It's in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse and the Fool is in reverse. Yes, yeah, like some of you have been so hell-bent on finishing a project or working and making your money or whatever you've been committed to. It feels like work. And it's like other areas of your life have suffered. Some of you just feel like you don't have the resources or you're just not able to make time. But I feel like Spirit is telling you either you're going to do it or I'm going to sit you down. Because you might be reaching burnout. Ten of Wands is in reverse. That could even be like making yourself sick by working so much, y'all. Yep. 
So it tells you here to take a holiday. I told y'all that last night and you have so many cards here that tells you it's time for you to take a break. And if not, life is going to make you take it. Okay, so this is very specific. I understand. May not be every cancer story. Y'all know y'all can check another reading or another placement in your chart, right? But these readings, the last two, are very clear. It's time to take a break. It's like you've earned some kind of success and you need to really be able to appreciate it. Like I told y'all before, bills are always going to come up. But moments with our family, our loved ones, just even our, ourselves, you know, spending time with ourselves. We're not going to always be here. They're not going to always be here. The bills will outlive you. And I'm just going to leave it at that. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.